don't know what it's going to be like to be sitting there listening to people on our YouTube. Uh, it should be. I have no idea what to expect. You know, because these things are kind of keeping it secret. So I don't know what's going to happen. I know it should be fun. So I'm looking forward to it. A lot of people here just to see you. What do you think as you're thinking back to your life's career and, and, and why you're being honored tonight? Um, well, I think it's good. I had a great run and I'm very happy about it. And I'm proud of the work that I did. And, you know, this is a great ending to it. Still going. Still going. <laughs> but now I build museums and, and uh, do other things. The Disney movie's coming out on the 18th. What's it like to sit back? I'm sure you were involved in some ways, or were you creatively, but what's it like to not be kind of heading the whole thing? Um, it's such a big production. Well, it's, it's a, you know, it becomes a new experience. I mean, it's not like you had to work your way through it and you know where all the mistakes are and you know everything. You just get to watch the movie and enjoy it. So it's much more fun. You know, your films have grown up with technology. Where do you see the future of the movie business going with all that? No, the biggest thing that's happening is becoming more democratic. Uh, it's becoming more like uh, literature. Which is anybody can do it. The, the economic barrier that used to be there when I started is gone. And the, the, the gatekeepers, which are the people that distribute the movies, they're gone. So now it's very easy to make a movie and get it seen by a million people. Mr. Lucas, your Ark of the Covenant's at the National Geographic, and your Lucasfilm curators were having a little rumor. Is They said that there's a rumor that either the Yoda puppet or the Star Wars script is inside. Can you confirm nor deny? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> George uh, Lucas, why do you think some years later, Star Wars oh. touches every single generation over and over again? Well, I think it's got mythical roots that, that, you know, that are on psychological motifs that relate to everybody and have for thousands of years. When you wrote it and made it, did you have any idea that it would be such a phenomenon like no other? No, we figured it was gonna fail. Everything I did around <laughs> it was, how was I gonna to continue to work on it if it, the first one fails? Yeah. Well, congratulations, I know everybody, did you thank, and Mr. You, but thank you. Did you and Mr. Spielberg really make a bet about Close Encounters in Star Wars, which would do yes, better? we did. <laughs> well, not which would do better, we just traded points. Oh, so you're, you're still cleaning up on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice thank you, sir. Congratulations.